been going on forever. It's a big reason why some athletes are now getting paid with major endorsements. As everyone knows, college sports are big money. It's only heightened frustrations that athletics are being prioritized over education. Yeah, and this comes as the University of South Florida announced plans to build a $340 million football wow. stadium that's happening on campus. For more, let's get out to Xavier Walton in South Florida. Xavier? Adrian Kelly, you know, USF not known for its uh, football prowess, if you will, but many argue it now joins a growing list of colleges and universities where that money, those millions of dollars, are going towards athletics and not necessarily uh, the academics of the institution. So in the case of USF uh, and that $340 million price tag, um, the university is taking on $200 million of debt and spending $140 million of university funds uh, to cover the cost, none of that of which is coming from student fees. Some faculty have an issue with spending this money and want it used in other ways, but the Board of Trustees, finance, unanimously uh, approved it. Other schools also making similar moves. Uh, just to name a few here, Texas A&M, also a public school, signed off on a $485 million renovation and expansion of Kyle Field about 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, now that would be about more than $800 million. Uh, Fighting Irish University of Notre Dame, $415 million on its stadium. Uh, David Booth, Kansas Memorial Stadium, $350 million. That was this year. And these are just a few examples. Yet tuition for most universities, you know, it continues to go up. That's where some frustration comes in because others believe uh, money like that, when we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, should be allocated elsewhere into higher education. Uh, here's how the VP of USF talked about, at least for athletics, talked about the separation of athletics and academics. There really is a... You know, a, a, a wall, you know, a firewall, if you will, between what can be used on athletics and what can be used on the academic mission. And that's, you know, I think good, good sound policy that the Florida Board of, Go Florida Board of Governors puts in place for all of our institutions that, that work under the state of Florida. And that's in Florida. You know, it varies uh, state by state. But the age old argument, Adrian Kelly, um, is that sports brings in and helps fund academics but we could talk about this on and on and on but again just yet another example of where athletics seems to get more money than the academics thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage